this is Ellen, a tier S character that you want to get in Zenless Zone Zero. Hello guys, Wilson Box here, and I'm gonna give you some tips how to get Ellen, okay? So this is pretty easy. So basically, you need to grind a lot, but there are some tips you can take to get more of this polychrome, do more uh, of these summons, and with this, you will be easier for you to get Ellen. So I'm just level 30, as you guys can see, and I got Ellen after around 84 summons, so was not that easy. But as soon as you get to level 30, you get more 1600 polychrome, so that is going to help you a lot to do a couple more of summons. So I did got Ellen before, before I get uh, the, the 1600, so nice to me that I don't need to spend that. So, there are some events here that you want to do. Just make sure to do all of these three to get these extra rewards. You are getting some of this type every day, which is nice. So this is the second round I'm getting of this, which is good. Uh, you get some more of polychrome and types every time you reach one of those uh, goals, 20, uh, level 25, level 30, etc. And this one, watch official release here, another way to get some more polychrome. But there's more. Don't forget to check the achievements. There, every time you see this exclam exclamation marker, come here, collect this stuff because this is more polychrome that you are getting. And with this, you can do, you can buy more types and do more summons. One of the biggest tips that's and the com the most common mistakes is to spend this thing on this banner. Okay. This is the standard banner and this is gonna last eventually forever. There's no date for this to end, so there's no need to, to spend any of this polychrome on this. Do the summons as you get these types, the master type. Don't spend any poly polychrome on this, spend the polychrome on this one, okay? Because you need 90, 90 you still have 11 days and you need 84 the weapon, the not the weapon, the engine. But, and then you need 90 to get the guaranteed S rank, okay? So it's it's a lot, it's true, it's a lot, but you can get this for free. I've not spent any money on this game, no, no money, completely too free to play. So I uh, this one is not going to give you that much types, so I don't think this is worthy if you want to, to spend on this, but we have more stuff where we can, where we can spend some money right so if these ones as you guys can see i don't have anything of this this is a fully free to play account and i'm just giving you some tips so you can get there as well without spending a penny okay just make sure to to check the schedule do all your side quests main quests all of this stuff as you guys can see i still have the ear to collect so i'll get some more type and more stuff another thing that you want to do every day is here on the compendium. You want to do this every day, okay? Because after completing this stuff, you get more polychrome. And on the primer, the same thing. You want to do, make sure to do these quests because after doing this once, you, you complete this one and it's going to give you some more polychrome as well. Another thing that you want to do to get some more polychrome is inside a room, okay? When you go to the room, you have some more stuff here, not this room, the downstairs. So let's go downstairs. There's some more stuff we can do to get more polychrome. Okay, so we'll be here inside. So you can do this, the video archive. I already done this one. And each one will give you, as soon as you complete it, complete it, you are getting more polychrome. As you guys can see, it gives you some more polychrome. Okay, so I've, I've done this too. I'm going to do this one as well. You complete the story and you get some more polychrome. So more of this uh, material stuff that you will give you some uh, some polychrome to do some some more summons with those types. Then the VR device. I'm pretty sure you, you, if you're not done this yet, come here, do this. This is just a training to know how to do all your skills and stuff. It's good to learn and will give you some polychrome as well. As you can see, it will give you some more. I'm still have one of 20 to get, so I'm pretty sure will be a character that is not available here yet. And then on the workbench, the same thing, if you have an exclamation mark on here, I add it, 
it's just to acknowledge. So you just need to acknowledge this stuff um, and it will give you some more free polychrome. So this is several ways to get polychrome. Of course, when you're doing the missions, they're going to give you some polychrome as well. But these ones uh, are not the obvious ones, okay? It's the ones that you need to come. You need to do it every day. The errands will give polychrome. And it's a, it's a good way and the special and the most important tip is not to spend any polychrome on this banner because it's a permanent banner. It's going to last forever and eventually you are getting these tapes and do this summon. So save off all of this polychrome to this banner if you really want to Ellen. If not, just don't, don't summon her and save your polychrome for the next banner or you can get the engine, which is really good as well for your for one of the frost characters that will come up or will come eventually so uh, it's up to you but you can get her completely free to play um, as I did all right guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe to follow more content like this thank you so much for watching and see you next time